Here's problem number one from the 2025 AP Calc A, B, and B, C, F, R, Q set. It's a calculator question saying that an invasive species of plant appears in a fruit grove at time zero begins to spread. Function C, defined here, models the number of acres in the fruit grove affected by the species T weeks after the species appears. And it can be shown that the derivative of C is equal to the fraction that you see here. Part A asks us to find the average number of acres affected by the invasive species from time zero to time four weeks. Show the setup for your calculation. So the average number of acres affected. C of T represents the number of acres affected. The average number of acres affected is going to be the average value of C of T on the interval zero to four. So I'm breaking out the formula for average value of a function. I show the setup for my calculation. The calculator's in play. I can go to Desmos within the Blue Book app. I can go to my handheld and evaluate the integral expression to give a result of 2.778. Nothing about interpretation or units here. That's always a good thing to scan before you move on to the next part of the problem. Part B asks us to find the time when the instantaneous rate of change of C is equal to the average rate of change of C on the interval 0 to 4. Show the setup for your calculation. So the first thing that I did was I, I said, well, I want to find the average rate of change of C. The average slope or the average rate of change of C on the interval 0 to 4 is going to be a regular old slope calculation connecting the endpoints of the graph on the interval 0, 4. So I'm taking C of 4 minus C of 0 divided by 4 minus 0. Again, the calculator's in play, so you could go to the calculator to evaluate this, but you end up with an average rate of change of 1.282. I included all of these digits after the third digit only because I realized this was an intermediate calculation. I'm going to need to set this average rate of change equal to the instantaneous rate of change or equal to the derivative in order to get my eventual conclusion for this. So now I'm showing, hey, I'm setting my derivative, my instantaneous rate of change function equal to that average rate of change value. You've got a little image of my screen from the calculator here. I graphed both the left side, so C prime of T, and the right side, this constant value on my calculator, found the intersection to be 2.154 for that time when the instantaneous rate of change is equal to the average. Part C says assume the invasive species continues to spread according to the given model for all times that are positive. We're asked to write a limit expression that describes the end behavior of the rate of change of the number of acres affected by the species. Evaluate the limit expression. A lot of confusion initially about this part of the problem, I feel. Uh, I think if you recognize a couple of key details, you're going to realize it's not too bad. End behavior would mean what happens over the course of the long haul, right? The long period of time as time approaches infinity. And it's the end behavior of the rate of change. The derivative is what represents the rate of change of the number of acres affected. So I'm basically in wording, rather than just by being presented this limit, I'm seeing wording that indicates I need to check the limit as time approaches infinity of the derivative of this function. And if you think about this denominator growing without bound, 38 divided by a value that's never going to stop growing is going to be a fractional value that's going to be approaching zero. And then the last part of this says that four weeks after the invasive species appears in the fruit grove, measures are taken to try to counter the spread of the species. The function A defined by C of T minus this integral, notice where the T value is within the integral, it's the upper limit of integration, models the number of acres affected by the species over the time interval from four to 36. At what time? on that interval, including the endpoints, does A attain its maximum value? Justify your answer. So if you take the derivative of A, right, if, if you think about finding the maximum or the minimum of a function, you're always going to want to identify critical numbers. So taking the derivative of this function is going to give me C prime of T prior to the subtraction. And then after the subtraction, if you take the derivative of this integral with respect to T, which is the upper limit of integration, there's an opportunity to apply the 
fundamental theorem of calculus to find that derivative, the derivative and the integral are essentially going to be undoing one another, leaving us with 0.1 times the natural log of the upper limit of integration replacing the x. A little bit of an unfamiliar role of variables here. I'm sure that most of the time when you use the fundamental theorem of calculus in this fashion, you see t in this spot, in this spot, and x there. So we have a little bit of a role reversal from what we're used to, but that's something that you definitely would hopefully be able to adjust to on the fly. So I have my derivative. I'm showing that my derivative is being set equal to zero. Here's a graph of that derivative on the interval from four to 36. There's one location when that derivative is equal to zero. Now I went ahead and, and did the normal sort of conclusion that you're typically used to doing when you find an absolute max or an absolute min. I'm identifying all the candidates where the max and the min might be. That would be the endpoints of the interval, as well as any critical numbers within the interval. I then need to find the value of a, and, and again, the calculator is in play for this. So you can find this value, this value, and this value of a by simply putting 4 in place of the t's, 11.4 whatever in place of the t's, and then 36 in place of the t's. The biggest of those values for a of t, the maximum value, is sitting right here, 7.317. But think about what they're actually asking you to conclude with here. At what time t within that interval does a attain its maximum? Now, clearly, my maximum value of a is right here. That maximum value of a happens within the interval 4 to 36 at the time 11.442.